everybody. This is Neetu Rishi, your host in the inspiring series at Inspiration Masters. And we continue to inspire people. And today I have with me a very, very little guest. Can you guess? He is a fifth grader, but he is a student of a special program called LEAP, which stands for Leading Exceptional Academic Producers. It is a program that allows him to do a two grades ahead maths, which means that he's currently doing a seventh grade maths. Wonderful. Let's welcome this little gem, Arav. How are you doing, Arav? It's my pleasure to have you here. I'm doing well. That's so good. He is an achiever in academics and in sports and many other extracurricular activities. He has been winning McCoy Cowboy Pride Award for the last five years and has won the Best Actor Award in Irving One Act Play Competition for his lead role. Wow! He is the winner of Therma B and Geography B and won two silver medals in karate at the Team Texas Open 2018. You are a multitasker. And congratulations, Ara. We got to know that you have been selected for Geography B on the state level. Yes, thank That's you. That's really a proud moment for you, for your parents, and for us as well. Yeah. He's also the first place winner of Talking Bee conducted by Inspiration Masters and Desi Plaza. That was very recent. And in his free time, he enjoys making Lego models, but nothing beats his growing passion to read books. I'm super excited to know more about you, Aro. So I would like to ask you, you are in the LEAP program, which yes. is definitely an exceptional program. So which represents you are a guaranteed successful person. So what is your main focus for the next year? Well, my main focus for next year is to get used to life in middle school mm -hmm. and also make some new friends I can that will take that I can um, be that, that, that I can have lifelong friend friendships with. Mm -hmm. I also want to maintain my good grades and ace all my exams. Okay. I also hope to join the many clubs my middle school offers and be active. Mm -hmm. That's true. Good. And you have so many achievements in your list that I yeah. saw in too many categories: academic, sports, extracurricular. Which is the one which excites you the most? Well, the one that probably excited me the most was my Best Actor Award at the Irving One Act Play 2016. Mm -hmm. It caught me by, by surprise. I never expected to win. It was my first time ever doing a play and I was only nine years old. Okay. There are many more experienced people who have done this for seven, ten years mm -hmm. and I could not believe that I won. It was amazing. Oh, you outshine the crowd. And you've mentioned that you have an extensive library at your home. What kind of books do you have? And which is your favorite one? Well, I have many kinds of books from the Diary of a Wimpy Kid series to Stuart Gibbs books. I, I enjoy fiction books and I have many um, fiction books like The Titan's Curse or Sting by Jude Watson. Mm -hmm. I also have many like young children hit series like Magic Treehouse or I Survive for my little brother Puppet who is mm -hmm. seven. But my favorite book of all time was probably Refugee okay. by acclaimed author Alain Gratz. Mm -hmm. It tells the story of three different refugees from different time periods mm -hmm. who escaped their homes for freedom and their better benefit. Okay. Um, it's a very heart-touching and well-written novel. Oh, and it I, looks like. <laughs> yeah, and I recommend you read it. Okay, definitely we will. And you love writing and you want to become yeah. an author. What would you like to write about? Will it be fiction, non-fiction? I would mostly write uh, historical fiction because I love history and incorporating like modern technology with mm -hmm. previous events. Okay. I would write about previous, ev previous events with new or even altered characters. Mm -hmm. I am mostly a fan of fiction because okay. I enjoy writing and reading stories. In mm -hmm. fact, um, my, re my writing teacher calls me the storyteller. <laughs> and just recently, about two days ago, I found out that I won first place in the um, Capel Gifted Association creative writing competition, I won first place in the fifth wow, grade story category. That's great! Yeah. But how do you manage to find time for all these things? Um, I usually have around uh, six classes per week, mm -hmm. but one main, key, one key factor is that I'm able to finish my homework at school or just after school, okay. so I have a lot of time in the afternoon. Mm -hmm. And I have to say a lot of the credit goes to my parents, mm -hmm. who, are constantly, who support me and my brother and, uh, and always have our backs. Okay, you're very supportive and very yeah. lucky. And who's your role model whom you look upon, you know, to motivate yourself? One of, my, one of my main role models are definitely my parents who encourage me and support me wherever I go. Mm -hmm. they're, they're hard workers and they're sometimes running for me and my brother. I also look up to my teachers um, who change the lives of many students every day. 
like me by imparting knowledge and making the world just a better place for all. Mm -hmm. I also look up to civil rights activists who want to change the world for the equality and better betterment of people. And they're not afraid to vent out their opinions in public. Uh, lastly, I also model many, uh, many of the successful and respectable people in this world who were not born rich. Mm -hmm. Instead, through dedication, perseverance, and hard work, they turned what little they had into a lot. For example, many company founders like Jeff Bezos. Arif, before I move on, are you really a fifth grader? Yeah. The kind of way you talk. I mean, yeah. I'm impressed. And if you have a leisure day, what is the first thing that you jump in? Is it a Lego, video game, studies, or outdoor? It, honestly, it depends what the type of day it is. Uh -huh. If it's sunny and beautiful outside, I'll go outside and play cricket. Mm -hmm. um, if I have a lot of homework, then I'll jump into studies first and finish it before doing anything else. Other, some, other times, I play on my iPad for a certain amount of time. Then I study, read, or build with Legos. Okay, so that means your leisure days are also calculated, yeah. right? You plan, wonderful. What is your dream college? Well, I can't choose only one college because of the many oppor like many opportunities and many options. Mm -hmm. But my dream college would be either Harvard University, mm -hmm. Princeton University, or MIT. Very clear. Yeah. Precise. Wonderful. And if you get a chance to meet a public figure, who would that be? Well, I know he's already dead, but I would like to meet Steve Jobs, the mm -hmm. uh, founder of Apple. Mm -hmm. um, he tr he, cr he created Apple, one of the most one of the most loved and advanced techn technological companies in the world from scratch. He made a little startup in his garage into a billion dollar technical technological giant. Mm -hmm. I would really like to meet him and learn some of his business 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 skills. Okay. And what advice would you like to give to our young viewers who would like to become someone like you? Well, I'm not really fit to give that much advice since I'm only 11 years old and I haven't gone through the trials and troubles of the world. But all I can say is always stay on the bright side of life because this will motivate you to go ahead and ahead and never give up on your dreams, mm -hmm. even if you fail a million times because eventually you'll get it right. Yes. And then lastly, Never be afraid to vent out your op opinions, even if others don't agree with them. Always stand up for what you believe is right. Wonderful. So follow your passion. Be prepared to do yeah. hard work. And above all, don't limit your dreams. Yeah. Is that? And you can be the next Aura. Thank yeah. you so much, Aura, for joining us today. It was a pleasure to have you. And I'm really proud and I congratulate your parents for your upbringing and to you know help you out to reach here. We wish you best of luck at the Inspiration Masters team for all your future projects. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you. Keep doing awesome. Thanks. Thank you.